The Chevrons rocked Omaha in the 60s and early 70s, then retired. Nebraska's Rock and Roll Hall of Fame members still have a lot of fans, and that's evident when they reunite. It doesn't happen often, but it is happening tomorrow. Here to explain why, band members Denny O'Malley and John Rude, and next to me from Jayzoo Housing, brother Mike Wilmot. Gentlemen, it's nice to have you here. Thank Good you. to I see you, Mike. You. Uh, let's start with the band okay. and this event tomorrow. It's a, it's a tribute. It's a benefit. How are you combining it all? Well, uh, th there's a lot of sort of intersections here. Uh, we, the original members of the group that started in 1963, were from the Holy Name area of Omaha, and um, that's the area that's being redeveloped by Jezu Housing. And in that uh, vicinity was also Sandy's Escape, which mm -hmm. is uh, also being recognized uh, through this event after uh, 50 years of, of its opening as well. So uh, there's sort of a lot of history here that's coming together, and mm -hmm. uh, we're delighted to play. And we've played a limited number of times since we've uh, reunited. Uh, exactly. And, well, uh, how many times do you average a year now? I mean, oh, John, we've played, what, six or seven times since the Hall of Fame induction? Are you counting rehearsals? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I love well, we, We've almost every year since '98, we've we've gotten together at least one once. Once, yeah. but it's but it's sort of like it. a lunar eclipse. Yeah. It, it doesn't yeah. happen often, so no, what it does. We always play for a charity uh, that, that is close to our hearts, mm -hmm. and uh, we always donate our time because uh, one, we're old and probably not that good anymore, but two, <laughs> because uh, we want to try to do uh, a little good. You're funny. You, you put on a show last year, a fundraiser for Jay Zoo. You raised what fifteen thousand dollars. How did you put that money to use, Mike? Well, it goes into uh, building houses mm -hmm. for uh, uh, people that need them. Mm -hmm. I wasn't familiar with this program until I knew you were coming, and I started reading about the requirements, um, the process, and for the families. What they're, 12 years later, these families are still in these homes. This is a long-term impact for the families. How would you describe what it's doing for this part of the community? Well, we've we've built uh, close to 30 houses in this area, uh, mm -hmm. from uh, military down to about 42nd Street, and uh, as you can see by some of the pictures, mm -hmm. it, it's really turning neighborhoods around. I can only imagine. Uh, what songs are you going to play? A couple of top 40 hits, I would <laughs> guess. <laughs> going out on a limb. <laughs> What's on the top the 40 hits from the 60s? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah we, most of our stuff is uh, back in that era. We, we got some material from the 80s as well uh, in there. Somebody told me we would be learning Jimi Hendrix songs at this age of life. No. I would have laughed at them, but we've got a little of that in there. Uh huh. Too. Yeah, we've most we've got about 30 songs in our set, so we're going to be playing three sets. Most of them range from 1964 to 1970. Yeah. We really have just one that goes beyond 70. So it's really, we really are trying to commemorate uh, Sandy's Escape, mm -hmm. which was opening, and Danny could tell you more about it. I joined the band in 67, but Sandy's Escape opened on New Year's Eve in 64, mm -hmm. and then they closed sometime in 1970. So we're really trying to showcase that era, mm -hmm. and we've almost all our materials from Danny, that. Danny, but what about your fans? What, why do you think they were so passionate about the band and your music back in the day? But yeah. it, that it continues yeah. now. Well, that's been the, the uh, really fun part of this, mm -hmm. is that we can all sort of uh, go back to that point in time and relive it a little bit and have fun. Because we do have a following and folks that have been very loyal to us. I think the reason is because we were age contemporaries of our audience at the time. Mm. We were among them. We were uh, the same age group. We were going to high school with them and that sort of thing, playing for their proms and their homecomings and so on. So we were truly peers, and, and I think uh, we grew up together, and they've stayed close to us the times mm -hmm. that we've come back. There was a newspaper article with the teen scene, something like that, that put you in the Beatles. <laughs> like, <laughs> right there. But that's, yeah. I mean, that goes to show the popularity. If you're, you know, I was born 34 years ago, so this was sort of new. A lot of this was new to me as I was looking at some of these articles, but I quickly appreciated your popularity and some of these yeah. comparisons. The music, Love I Love You, I was jamming right. to that yesterday. The, right, uh, you wrote, the, you the wrote that song. Songwriter there, yeah. yeah. We had better hair than the Beatles. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that funny? Uh, so how can our viewers get, get tickets? What they, they might be available at the door, I suppose, if they don't sell out before then, but for our viewers who want to purchase them in advance, where should they go to do that? Well, they can call Jezu Housing, mm -hmm. and I believe the number may be on yeah, the monitor we'll pop it right up here now. In a second. And uh, they can call, and uh, if you want to get advanced uh, uh, seats, there's no more reserved seats, I don't mm -hmm. think, left. But uh, there's general admission seats, and uh, you can also purchase them at the door. So come on out. There'll be tickets available if you come there that evening, yeah. and uh, 
love to have you be there to help Jezu Housing and hear some what we think will be pretty good old music. Wouldn't that be fun? Gotcha. Yeah, I, I just want to add that uh, I would really recommend people get tickets in advance because we actually had to turn a few people away last mm -hmm. year. We had uh, over, I think it was maybe 650 or 700 in attendance. So, yeah, if they want to go, I would suggest yeah. they not wait to get them at the door. I mean, they can surely do that, but... And you same know. venue, so you would expect that it yes. might be a, a similar situation yeah. this year. And let's show you some information about Jezu Housing. We've had the website up at the bottom of the screen in case you would like to log on to learn more. Um, it's jezuhousing.com, local organization and the impact. I think it's so cool the way you continue to give back to the area where you grew up and what you're doing, the legacy for years to come for these families. It's really great. And you can look at some of the pictures online of the homes. Donate online if you can't make it to the, the show. That's all possible. If, if they want more information, they can uh, see us on Facebook. Mm -hmm. You're all over the place on social media. I'm like, look at these guys <laughs> posting like crazy. Nice to see you. Thank you. And Denny, good to have you Thanks. here. Thank you, Mike, appreciate us. your Thank time you. as well. Thank you. Thanks. Well, today